Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to show you how to install and configure Google Chrome. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today we're going to look at installing Google Chrome and setting it as your default browser within Windows 10. Now, are you using Edge at the moment? Are you using another browser? Well, at the moment, Google Chrome, as of the end of 2018, has almost 65% of the market share of all browser traffic. And why is that? Well, because Chrome is a pretty darn good browser. So if you're not using it, you're probably missing out. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you how to download, install, and configure Google Chrome. So the first thing you want to do is open up your existing browser, which if you're using Windows 10 is more than likely going to be Microsoft Edge. And just type in Chrome. And if you go to www.google.co.uk forward slash Chrome or remove the code.uk for wherever your region is, .com is probably fine. And choose to download Chrome. You have to accept the terms of service and click on accept and install. Now at this point you can click on save or save as or alternatively you can click on run. I'm going to click on run for this instance. So when Chrome starts up, you've got the welcome to Chrome message and you can choose to sign in. So if you've got a Gmail account, you can sign in or you can create one or you can choose to bypass that altogether. So that's it, that's the Chrome browser installed. At the moment, it's very clean. You can add add-ons to it or additional extensions if you wish. You can do that at a later date and we'll probably do an update video showing various extensions that you can use. So that's Chrome installed, so now what we need to do is to make it so that Chrome is our default browser within Windows. So in the search bar at the bottom, type in default. And we go to the default app section. And if we scroll down to web browser, currently mine is set to Google Chrome, but if yours is currently set to Microsoft Edge, just go ahead and choose Google Chrome. And that's it, you're done. Now it's probably a good idea when you're in Chrome, if you go to the very bottom on your taskbar where the Chrome tab is open and right click, and then you can choose to pin it to the taskbar. That way, even when you've closed down Chrome, you've still got it available as a shortcut at the bottom on the taskbar. So there we go, there's Google Chrome installed and set as our default browser and we've got a handy shortcut at the bottom in our taskbar. So if you've got any questions, comments or suggestions, please put them in the comment section below. In the meantime, I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and we'll see you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.